Hello, everybody. How are you today? I have a camera up here, and then I have to look down here to see how, uh, make sure you guys can see me. Can everyone hear me okay? You are here for the Yes Extravaganza online gathering, also known as a webinar, and my name is Whitney Freya. If you move your cursor on your computer, a uh, uh, banner shows up below, and you can see the chat. If you press the chat, then you can, whoops, I did high one. Hi, um, you can see yourself in there. If you can just comment and let me know that you can hear me okay, that would be wonderful. So excited you guys are here. I am going to, hello in New Zealand, wonderful, you're up early. Thank you for being here. Um, thanks, Dawn. Okay, so this webinar is to invite you into um, the next level or the first level of the Yes Extravaganza. And what I'm going to do in this webinar is share with you a little bit of the background, of, you know, what the Yes Extravaganza is. I'm going to take you through a guided meditation that I was just reminded about as I was preparing. So that is always good news, means the magic is flowing through. And then I'm going to do a painting demonstration to kind of demonstrate not only how to paint, yes, but more insight into this sacred personal painting practice that for me has been um, like the golden thread throughout my entire adult life since I began painting at age 26 when I opened my first art center. Like seriously, I had not painted on a canvas until I opened the art center. And I love, love, love sharing this with you. So today you will get everything you need to participate in the Yes Extravaganza. This is all free. You can start your own personal painting practice and really mine the treasure that is buried or um, wanting to come forth even more in your creative spirit. You know, we've just been raised, told this story around creativity that some people have it and some people don't. And, you know, real artists are basically people who can make money selling their art and the rest of us just shouldn't even bother, right? And what we know to be true is that we are all creating in each and every moment and the art we're creating is our life. And the canvas just makes that visible. It makes the lessons that we are um, currently learning, what is wanting to come through, what new perspectives or new abilities are being offered to us, the canvas makes it visible. So I'm going to give you some insight into that um, and it will certainly give you a platform on which you can explore. And for some of you, you'll want more. And I've got lots of ways that we can work together. Um, this is also an example of what my Creatively Fit coaches and I provide for our clients. First and foremost is to develop a personal painting practice. Um, and there are layers and layers to that practice. So today you get to um, meet a bunch of those layers. So let me explain a little bit about the Yes Extravaganza. And when you signed up, um, you know, it's so that we could share inspiration with you and also kind of organize our art reach so that on fall solstice weekend, we are all going to share our yeses and just shower the world with the energy of yes. Um, so thank you for joining. Um, the yes extravaganza really came to me in about like 10 seconds. <laughs> I was um, all of a sudden, thinking the thought, like what is something that the Creatively Fit Coaches and I could do to share online, to invite people in and give them a way to experience for themselves how magical this painting practice is when you let go of the like, oh, you know, my mother was an artist, but I can't even draw a straight line. Like we live on a round planet, there are no straight lines anyway. And so what if we could invite more people in a really fun and easy way to just make their mark, put the brush to the canvas, or maybe reconnect to a personal painting practice. So whether you've painted for a long time or never painted at all or anywhere in between, usually the people that are attracted to my message are people that have not looked at painting from this angle. It almost becomes like divination 
right? Where the canvas becomes an active participant um, or a guide. Uh, you have a conversation or what I love to call a canvasation with the canvas and it is tremendously supportive. Um, I was describing it to um, one of the women who's just signed up for the coaching that starts October 8th the other day, and I was explaining it to her, like if you can remember um, the old radio dials, right? And you would turn the dial and it'd be like <laughs> static, and then you'd get to the station, right? So what happens right now in our day-to-day -day world with everything that's going on around us, um, we can be very easily tuned into kind of a low frequency station. So we're thinking about our to-do list. We're like, oh crap, I forgot to do that, you know, and then you get a funky email. Oh, I've got to pay those bills. I realized driving home last night, I hadn't paid a speeding ticket. <laughs> right? So like life has all these things. Dare you turn on the news and then you're inundated with that energy. So all of that can be really low frequency. You know, we're just kind of trying to get through the day and get things ticked off the list and get dinner on the table and stuff like that. So when you paint, when you get outside in nature, when you do yoga or meditate or dance or listen to music, any of these things, you change the frequency of the station that you're tuned into and you raise the frequency, you raise the vibration. And you can test this, like I want you to try this out um, in your yes painting. When you go to the canvas and pull out the color, it may take five minutes, it may take 10 minutes, but because you're engaging the right hemisphere, because none of you are getting paid by the brush stroke, right? Your family isn't gonna come home and be like, did you do that painting, right? Um, because it's not a left brain activity, it's a right hemisphere activity. It brings you present. That's the only condition the right hemisphere knows. The right hemisphere is also love-based. It focuses on beauty and what you love and your passion and all the good things. And from that frequency, I want you guys to really hear this. From that frequency, you receive your highest guidance. Whatever thoughts have been going on in your head, whatever's been troubling you, whatever like conversation you're trying to figure out how to have or whatever you're trying to figure out, as you paint, it's like you open up so that you're able to receive the guidance for that challenge, for that particular situation in your life that is of a higher vibration. So you could think about the same like email that you got that you're not sure if it was kind of jabby and angry. For example, I'll give you an example. I have been in the process of buying a house. I'm in the process of hopefully buying this house. And um, up until yesterday, I thought that my dad was going to have to co-sign, right? And he's been a little fussy about some of the logistics of co-signing and so I get these emails and I could take it personally I could get frustrated I could get all my feathers all ruffled and if I'm present if I've been nurturing my right hemisphere I'm like it's okay it's the way his brain works I email back hey I want to get you the information I want you to feel good about this we'll make it work you know thanks for bringing this up and it's made all the difference in the world right so when you look at life through the lens of the left brain, ego, do, 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 run, 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 it's going to look one way. It's not that that's always the wrong way, but when you raise your vibration and get in alignment with your creative spirit that only knows possibility and potential, that understands that every single part of the art that is your life is necessary, the light and the dark, the good and the bad, the hard and the soft, it's all about contrast. So with that, I would like to invite you in to a guided meditation. Um, okay, so Doris is saying the sound is breaking up. Hello, Marsha. Hello, Deline and Paulissa. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Um, fabulous. Hello from Norway. Hi, Hannah. Is that how you say? I love it. Um, Doris, I don't know. It might be your internet. I hope and we'll just imagine the waves coming clearly to you all the way in New Zealand. Thank you for being here. So I wanna offer you this short guided meditation before we get into the painting demo. And this meditation was one that I received. Um, I am what is called claircognizant. So I get thoughts and ideas given to me. 
and I can tell they're not my own, right? And, um, and it's been magical learning to trust those more and more. And I was in actually uh, the Zen um, meditation, the Self-Realization Fellowship Meditation Gardens in Encinitas, California. It's the Yogananda Paramahansa, um, the autobiography of a yogi guy. It's his um, retreat center, and they have this beautiful meditation garden on the coast of the Pacific Ocean on a cliff, beautiful gardens. It's amazing. I've been there twice and both times I've had really incredible experiences. But I want to share with you this one that I was given as I was sitting in this rock circle in a grove of trees. Um, it was pretty quickly after my divorce and so I was really struggling with the polarity of the thoughts in my head like liberation and freedom and I'm following my highest path and then fear and doubt and if I messed up my kids lives and you know all of that. So this is what I was offered. So I want to offer it to you today. So take a moment and close your eyes if that feels comfortable and feel yourself where you're sitting and take three deep breaths. <sighs> Maybe the first one is kind of loud to let it all out. Breathe in all the way down to your belly and let it out. And then another breath. And I would invite you to close your eyes. And I want you to feel the air on your skin. Imagine that place where your body, your physical body and the space around you connect. Feel the pulsing, maybe your heartbeat from within the blood circulating through your veins. And I want you to connect to the feeling, the energy of yes. Maybe you imagine asking God, goddess, Jesus, your guardian angel, your higher self, your soul, can I do this thing that I love so much? Yes. Am I enough? Yes. Is this situation going to work out for my highest and greatest good? Yes. Can I want this thing that I want? Is that okay? Yes. So just feel that energy of yes. Yes. And then I want you to imagine that Every time you think a thought, like imagine the thought, yes. And every time you think a thought, imagine that there's like this package. Maybe it's wrapped up in pretty paper, but whatever your thought is, so that yes thought, that becomes this like gift, this package. And it pops out of your body onto like these energetic conveyor belts. You know, like, remember Wonder Woman's plane? <laughs> this is how it came to me in the meditation. You know, that kind of like invisible but visible. So imagine that coming out of your energy factory that is your body are these conveyor belts that are chugging along. And every time you think a thought, you feel a feeling, that energy pops out and it's just as tangible as if it's popping out in a package onto these conveyor belts. And it moves along the conveyor belts and it forms this like U-shaped uh, space around you that's lined kind of like a gift shop with all of these packages, all of these thoughts that you've been thinking. So when we think, have I screwed up my kids? that package comes out and arranges itself in this like energetic gift shop all around you. When you watch the news, do you think, wow, we are learning, we are growing, we are expanding, we are going to choose love over fear? That pops out and gets placed in your energetic gift shop around you. I'm afraid I don't have enough money. I'm not going to have enough money to do what I want. What if I don't have enough money for retirement? I'm broke. I need to pay bills. 
that goes in your energetic gift shop. I've always had what I need. I'm safe right now. I have food in the fridge. I have a roof over my head. I will be taken care of. And that pops out and goes in the space around you. So just take a moment and connect to a feeling an energy, an experience that you really want to experience today. Maybe you want to find time to take a walk outside today or to paint at the canvas, or you want to have some really meaningful time with one of your children or your spouse, a friend. You want to release the stress that you've taken on maybe from someone else's situation. Just think about a feeling that you want to feel. I feel peaceful. I feel secure. I feel inspired. And connect to that feeling. And then paint a big yes on that package and let it come out and fill the space around you. Yes. Yes. So here's what I was given in this meditation. That every moment, every single moment of our being, we are creating. And what we are creating is energy. And that energy is just as real and just as physical as the furniture around us, as the books, as the countertops and the couches and the chairs and the beds and the paintings, everything is energy. And when people come into your space, as well as you being in your own space all day, the energy you've been creating, even when they weren't there, is what they have to choose from in your energetic gift shop. So how can we become even more intentional about the energy we create. Understanding that when we choose to look at life as a experience that wants to rise up to meet us, to work for us rather than against us, that not only do we bathe ourselves in the energy of safety and security and trust and support and compassion and kindness, but we also create that energy that is then available and real for everyone around us. So the yes extravaganza is about shining a light and illuminating the superpower we have to create lemonade from the lemons or whiskey sours <laughs> from the lemons right that you are creating in each and every moment and when you sit down at the canvas in the way i'm about to demonstrate and practice honoring your desires and creating the energy of yes of acceptance of receiving it makes a difference this is at the heart of your personal painting practice, making visible how you are creating into your physical reality energy in each and every moment. So just take a moment to receive whatever positive, desirable, delicious energy that you have chosen to create right now. Reconnect to your breath. And if your eyes have been closed, when you're ready, open your eyes. Wonderful. So if you um, did bring a uh, paint and canvas to the webinar, feel free to get that out. Um, I think I've pretty much got everything here. I am going to just stop the video temporarily while I move the camera so I don't give anyone vertigo or anything. And then the camera will be focused on my canvas. Okay, let's see how we did here. Well, pretty good. Okay. So, I wanted to share with you this yes painting as well because um, this one 
uh, is one you may have seen around in some of the Yes promotions. And um, yesterday, I spent more time painting on the Yes. So I wanted to just use this as an illustration that these Yes canvases are something that you could paint on over and over and over and over. Like if you're feeling um, overwhelmed or frustrated, maybe something hasn't been going your way, right? Like again, back to my buying a house example, um, I had the inspection and there was more stuff wrong with the house than I wanted and it got me a little overwhelmed. And so I went back to this canvas to paint more of the yes because it's like is this going to work out yes am i going to follow my intuition and and just allow whatever's meant to happen yes right so this yes canvas is something that you could paint on over and over and over for the rest of your life right okay so that is just an example and you can see the layers in here you can see like all the little yeses that are painted in here um, and we're going to, I'm going to demonstrate just how you can um, paint or write your desires into the canvas to create the energy. Okay, so this kind of painting practice is, um, it's, it's about setting an intention and allowing the creative nature of who we are to really come to the forefront it's like giving the platform shining the spotlight on what it is you want rather than what normally happens is we think like oh i really want to buy that house and then we start focusing on all the things that are wrong you know or dad getting upset about co-signing or maybe i'm not gonna the appraisal isn't gonna work instead of imagining waking up and looking out of the new window and enjoying the new space and the new chapter in your life right so at the crux of becoming creatively fit is learning to focus your thoughts, your words, and your intentions on what you want. So what do you want here? So what I wanna invite you to do is in the chat, just type in something that you want, whether it's more joy, peace, you know, world peace, end of hunger, um, I want to relax today, whatever it is, type it in the chat and then I'm going to write it into this canvas. This is going to be our collective canvas. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and write a new house that I love. Okay, so um, Estelle, what prosperity, excellent, okay, prosperity. Money prosperity, okay, so I'm doing the dollar sign. Money prosperity, joy prosperity, <laughs> right? Writing my book, okay, so my book is written. So I'm just using these paint pens. You can use anything, you can use Sharpies, you can use actual paint, whatever it is you want to use. Um, joy, more creativity. Oh, I love it, you guys are awesome, okay. So joy, I love joy. Joy is like the highest vibration. Um, more creativity. Well, Sandra, that's easy. You're in the right place. Um, paint from within, yes, paint from within. Vibrate more self-love. Ooh, yeah, baby, I love that. Vibrate, I vibrate self-love. Okay, so when you write these, write them as if they are already happening. Okay, sacred art, beautiful. Clarity and inspiration. Hi, Kate. Clarity and inspiration. Okay, awesome. Oh, Barbara, you're sacred art. I love your work, Barbara. Okay, so here we go. So any which way, and you can see this is a canvas that I've painted over before. I love painting over and over and over canvases. Um, so we've written all this glorious energy. Ooh, shine, capable. I am capable. I am feeling capable. Okay. And you guys, this stuff, like I realized in a um, webinar or Facebook Live or something I did the other day that I've been writing, I am sovereign in my canvases 
for about a year, a year and a half, and the whole buying a house and moving into it. And then just the mortgage lady calling me yesterday to say, we don't even think we're going to need your dad to co-sign. I am sovereign. Like this stuff ripples out into your life. It's magical. Um, okay. And then more time at the canvas clarity on my creativity. Okay. So, um, more, I spend more and more time at the canvas. Clarity, clarity all around clarity for everybody. We love clarity. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So here are all the things that we're saying yes to. So can you guys feel the energy of how you have probably thought about a lot of these things um, before and typically the way our mind works, like the neural pathways that have been created, um, we tend to think about all the reasons why we may not be able to do that. So this yes extravaganza process is such that you write into the canvas everything that you want the universe to say yes to you. can i have more clarity yes can i spend more time painting yes can i paint more intuitively yes okay so then you go to the canvas you can paint over all of these you know everything for the sake of this demo i'm just going to paint a big yes right onto the canvas yes and you've seen some examples if you go back to my whitney freya canvas facebook page or just google hashtag yes extravaganza you will see so many awesome examples um super creative ways that others a lot of the creatively fit coaches and other people who have started participating have painted i love the one from gina in jackson mississippi she did a big group painting at her art studio and she's got all kinds of wonderful things painted in there okay so this is it this is the process this becomes a meditation we talked about shine right so okay so let's make this shine i've got this uh fluorescent yellow and i love leaving um just like fun little technique thing. I love leaving a little bit of that first layer coming through, kind of creating a second outline. And then in general, um, like if I'm outlining, doing this all around the yes, I, I want to change the colors that I'm using. And I used on my palette, I had white and yellow and magenta, which all play together very nicely. So if the orange and the magenta get mixed together, um, it'll just create a different shade of that color. And orange and these magentas, these colors all contrast the blue background that we have. So opposite colors create contrast. So this becomes a painting meditation you saying yes and here's the thing um like if you've ever read uh, law of attraction or listened or read any abraham hicks they talk about spending time in your creative workshop imagining what it is that you want to attract into your life this is what i do at the canvas it's so much easier to sit and paint and connect to what I want rather than sitting still and trying to not think of anything but what I want, right? Like it's hard to sit for 20 minutes, for me at least, I don't know about for you, and just imagine things, but at the canvas, I can. Okay, so here is our yes painting so far. Um, do any of you have any questions about this process. Oh, you know what else I'd love to do is scrape. Can you guys hear that frog? My frog started croaking again just yesterday. You see how that scrapes through when the paint is still wet? Well, let's get something in the middle. How many of you um, comment and let me know if you feel like, okay, Whitney, I do have a personal painting practice. Um, 
And then likewise, if you have not painted recently, like if painting is, you know, I, when I opened my art center, I was still like, I can't draw. <laughs> um, so share with me where you are, what your experience has been with painting right now. Like, do you have supplies at home? Um, I work with a lot of people that uh, tell me they've had supplies in the closet, you know, that they got for Christmas for something for years. Um, so share with me where you are in this and, and then say yes, type yes, if you are going to paint a yes painting and share it with us to create all this positive energy. Oh, hey, Laura. Oh, home. Okay. I am home. Like you can just scratch that right into the wet paint. I love, love, love texture. Okay, Barbara's gonna paint a yes painting and Delene is going to paint a yes painting. Awesome. Perfect. So this is, yes, 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 yes. Awesome. Yes, I know Paulissa has been doing super soul flow. Um, we met, I think during the, um, the Amber, the Women Unleashed and Paulissa, I love your art so much. Your final wing painting is glorious. Marsha, I've been painting for several years, but want to take it up to a new level. I want to paint from my soul. My energy healer told me my art will heal. So yes. Oh, that's beautiful, Marsha. Oh, I'm so glad. It's so true. The intuitive painting. And let me give you guys a tip about how to create um, a, a easier environment to paint from, from your intuition. So I'll say that in just a second. Um, Laura, I have a bounty of supplies. Do not have a painting practice. Yes, we'll paint many yes paintings. Oh, awesome. And um, Maria, I know you're going to paint a painting. Maria's done Vision Quest and Super Soul Flow. Doors, I am very new to painting and I have just had an energy thought. I am to paint yes over the top of my vision board. <gasps> I love that, Doors. Kate, I just started painting this year, but I paint just sporadically. That's okay. Kate, you did um, Super Soul Flow, right? Absolutely. Okay, I want to speak to sporadically as well. Um, so I'm going to switch the video, or I'm just going to turn around so I'm facing the camera, except then I can't see your guys' chat. Okay, well, hopefully not too close to you. I'm going to scare you. <laughs> okay, so um, here is my tips for uh, turning up the intuition on your painting practice, right? Some of you talked about that painting from your soul, painting more intuitively. Um, it may even get you to the canvas, uh, you know, draw you to your painting practice even more, Kate, when you do this. So there's a simple little secret, and that is that the more senses you engage, the more present you become, which means right hemisphere, creativity. So when you go to paint and you want to really paint from your soul, one, engage as many senses as possible. So incense, light a candle, turn on some music, put on your comfy clothes, um, you know, turn on the lighting, maybe arrange. I usually light a candle and even create a little altar, even if it's like taking a crystal from one of my elemental altars um, and put it there to honor my painting practice. That will really, really help. Of course, you could call in a particular energy, um, whether it's joy or a god or goddess or an element, you know, calling in uh, water which is the element of intuition to help you just create this flow. Okay, so that's the first thing. Engage as many senses as you can. The second thing is to allow the process to evolve the way it wants to. So what that means is, say you're painting this first layer. Um, okay, so the first layer is just like it was underneath here, right? It's just scribbles and drips and words and all of that and you're feeling frustrated, your left brain is saying, we should know what we want to paint by now, right? We're not being intuitive and we're not getting anything. And so see, I can't do this, da, 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 right? If you don't know what to paint yet, 
just keep painting that first layer. Wait until you see something in the canvas, an idea, an image. Oh yeah, I saw that owl greeting card the other day. I really wanted to paint an owl. Then paint an owl. Don't judge what comes through, right? Edit it out. Oh, I've already painted too many owls, so I'm not going to paint another owl, right? That's something I might think. If you're being given the thought of painting an owl, paint an owl. So just paint until you get it. You may see something super small in some of the drips and doodles in the canvas that reminds you of something. Make it big, right? Or pick up another canvas. If you feel like, okay, this canvas has a great first layer, pick up another one or a pizza box and paint that. But allow your intuition, the time and space to move intuitively. The more we attach to the way it should happen, right? It's a little harder for the intuition to come through. Um, oh, and then the painting sporadically. In my book, um, Rise Above, uh, let me know if you have Rise Above. It's available. It ships worldwide from Amazon.com, so in Norway and um, New Zealand. And um, in the book, the title, uh, the chapter on spaciousness, I talk about how creative time is. And we've kind of been told the story that time is this linear thing, you know, 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour, 24 hours in a day. We should do things every day, every other day, three times a week, right? Like it should be this regular kind of timeline type setup. And in ancient Greece, actually, they had two different names for time. Kronos time is the one I just uh, described. And Kairos time is aha time. And it is not linear. It is, you know, this big, never-ending orb of time and space. And so, Kate, potentially, you're sporadically is just like more of a cyclical type of um, of time that you're on with your painting schedule. So there are cycles. I know now when I start thinking, ooh, I haven't painted in a while, which can happen, you guys, because one, I'm paragliding a lot lately, right? And then I get home and now there's a lot of computer stuff to do. So I can think, ooh, I haven't painted lately. So instead of taking the fork in the mental road of, oh my gosh, I suck. Like here I am trying to get people to start a painting practice and I haven't even painted. Or the other fork is, ooh, we must be coming up on a painting cycle, right? And then what I know, oh, I haven't done yoga in a while, right? Oh, I've been drinking too much coffee. So it's coming up on a cycle of drinking less coffee. It's coming up on a cycle of doing more yoga. So make friends with time and realize that our expectations of doing things in a regular linear way isn't really the nature of time, the true nature of time. Because we live on a round planet that cycles night and day and seasons. And so we have these same cycles. And then you just get into a state of allowance. And when you start thinking, ooh, I need to do that. All right, I get to do that. I must be coming up on a cycle of painting. OK. Um, ooh, thanks, Kate, Maria, Lynn. Oh, good, you guys all have it. Thank you so much. Please share it with the world. I have to shamelessly um, recommend Rise Above to everybody and ask your help in sharing it with um, everybody because it is magical, right? Fabulous. Okay, so your invitation is to um, participate in the Yes Extravaganza. Share your paintings online. Join myself and my Creatively Fit coaches in helping people wake up to the truth that you are a life artist, that in each and every moment you are creating the art that is your life. And when you wake up to that, the potential and the possibility and the limitations that you've been putting on yourself have to dissolve in the light of your true creative nature. Not the creative nature that is judged as product or judged by how much money you could exchange for it, by the, but by the fact that you have a particular shade of creativity that you're meant to share with the world. That in each and every moment, you are creating change just by your thoughts and your ideas and your words. And the more and more of us that remember this and learn to harness our creativity, the quicker we will heal not only ourselves, our environment, our political situation, our communities. That is the key. 
we are interested in you because you're here with me are interested in creating life on this planet in a different way we haven't done it yet that means the left hemisphere, which is like our big file cabinet that's responsible for the past and the future to perfectly balance the right brain that's present, has not experienced where we are going up until now. And you, because you're here, are a rainbow warrior. You've been called idealistic, right? You've been um, told that you're gullible. That is a sign that you understand, and you don't know why exactly always, but that there is something more. Am I right? Tell me, yes, if you, um, here, ooh, Don, I get, ups if I get upset at my husband or life and start feeling depressed, I start painting and poof, anger is gone and I feel great. Right, Don? I'm telling you, it is a powerful tool. So thank you for joining me in the Yes Extravaganza. Some of you are going to feel the call, not all of you, some of you are going to feel the call to become um, and enter into this Creatively Fit Coaching Tribe to be a healer, a rainbow warrior who also brings people to the canvas to help them remember how powerfully creative they are and how they can create the life of their dreams. And if that is the case, you can email me, WhitneyFreya at gmail.com. Um, you can reply back to any of the emails you get. The next Creatively Fit Coaching Training starts October 8th. And everyone who joins the coaching feels the call right? They, it's not like, oh, geez, this would be really good on my spreadsheet. of. It's like, ooh, I know this. I remember this. It's like she's speaking to me. She's saying my words, right? You are part of this tribe. And there is nothing more exciting than bringing someone to the canvas and seeing their eyes light up and, and watching the, the chains that have kept them creatively stuck. Oh, that art teacher, for me, he told me that um, drawing wasn't my thing when I was nine. I got like bound up creatively until I was liberated from this whole creatively fit process, developing a personal painting practice, learning how the canvas becomes a mirror as well as a portal to access more of what is available to me. Yes. So on the Yes Extravaganza page, if you go to yesextravaganza.com, you can read more about the Creatively Fit Coaching Program. There are some videos there. And again, if you feel the call, just simply answer it. Because what we know for sure is that right now, in 2018, there are, and there's a whole energy of choice. Okay? It's everywhere you look and you choose love or fear, you choose to step up or you choose to stay comfortable, there's no judgment. You're an infinite being. You've got nothing but time. I am here to encourage those of you that feel the call to say yes, to say yes to whatever's in your heart. Maybe it's learning how to surf or learning how to fly like I just did. I've been flying a year and a half now. It's crazy. I'm a 48-year-old mother of three, and I'm paragliding with like all these like young, you know, uh, extreme adventure sporty types, right? And I'm rocking it. It's amazing. Say yes. And if you are someone who is uh, at your core a healer, you want other people to feel what you're feeling when you feel inspired, you got to turn around and share it with others. That is the tribe of Creatively Fit Coaches, and I would love to share with you more information. So thank you for being here. I so look forward to connecting with you during the Yes Extravaganza. Use hashtag Yes Extravaganza so that I can search and find. Feel free to tag me. We're mostly sharing on Instagram and Facebook. Create the energy of yes. A home that makes your heart sing, yes. Clarity, yes. More time to paint, yes. Joy, yes. It's all available to you. You get to create it. Thank you all so much. I'm gonna take a moment and um, see if anyone has any questions on the chat. If you're watching the replay, you can, um, this can be the end of the video or not, but I wanna thank you all for being here. And you are a life artist. And regardless of how many colors you thought you had on your palette up until now, I want you to know that you have every single color in the rainbow, the full spectrum available to you. 
And I thank you for allowing the Yes Extravaganza to help you expand that palette. Have a most magical day. Aho. Okay, so let me see if anyone has any questions. Doors. Oh, excellent. Doors, are you friends with Angela Murray in New Zealand? You must be. You're doing painting happiness. Angela is incredible. She's one of my, she is my master coach, master creatively fit coach. Um, okay, yes on the canvas. Thank you, Maria. Um, awesome. Doors, did I meet you? Did we get to meet when I was in New Zealand? I was there, not this past spring, but the spring before. Okay, you're welcome, Hannah from Norway. I'm so glad you're here. Lynn, Sandra, Barbara, Laura, thank you all. Okay, good. Well, Doris, we'll meet next time. I'll be back to New Zealand for sure. Okay, everyone, thank you for being here. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for saying and creating. Yes, we got this. We have got this. It is so exciting. Mwah. Okay, bye, everybody.